video creators. Although you may not use an iPhone as your primary video camera, it still has a part to play in your video production toolkit. Uh, that's because it's small, making it super portable and fairly discreet. A phone attracts much less attention than a larger camera rig. And as I've demonstrated previously, my video expectations of the iPhone 13 proved to be unrealistic. But because of the factors that attracted me, I've continued to use it. And a big thanks to those viewers who recommended Filmic Pro, which provides more controls than Apple's native video recording app. That seems like an essential app to me, and it really changes the experience from the native app. I'd be willing to do a more detailed review of it. Let me know in the comments. Well, anyway, over the last few months, I've accumulated a bunch of iPhone ex video accessories. I bought some, and I've been sent some review samples, as always. <laughs> Even though some of these products have been given to me, I have not been paid to include or endorse these or any product, and no one gets to review my scripts or video before posting. So, first, I purchased this small rig cage, made of what small rig describes as aviation aluminum. It weighs about 90 grams. Now, there's some padding inside, and the phone slides in snugly, and it clamps closed. Seems safe and secure. The ports and controls remain accessible, and there are quarter-inch threaded mounting holes on all four sides, a total of 10. And two cold shoe mounts for lights, microphones, or other devices. And the lens ports don't block the wide-angle lens and are actually designed to accommodate accessory lenses with the phone-style M mounts. I didn't get any of those. I did get the side handle, making it a little easier to maneuver. And Small Rig sent over two lights from their new Simor line. This is the Vibe P96, this the Vibe P96L. And both have internal batteries charged with a USB C port. They include USB C cables, but not power adapters. Now, this one weighs 100 grams with the included cold shoe adapter. Yeah, it's plastic and slightly flimsy. And there are cold shoe ports on the top and the sides. And those could be useful if, for example, you had four of these, you could build a little array. Power on the back, just above the battery gauge. Turn the dial to set the light level, press it to change, and adjust the color temperature. Now, if I'm reading the manual correctly, it provides fairly little light. 240 lumens with a Kelvin range 2700 to 6500, although neither setting is displayed on the unit. Uh, you can kind of tell as there are two sets of LEDs. This is a ProRes 4K 30 recording from the iPhone 13, held at arm's length with my studio light off and the P96 at full illumination with a color temperature somewhere above the midpoint. The reflection in my glasses isn't ideal. The larger P96L is similar to the small on-camera LED panels provided by many manufacturers. And again, if I'm reading correctly, 960 lumens, Kelvin 2500 to 8000 level, and Kelvin are displayed on the back, remaining battery status in minutes. Controls on the side. A full spectrum color capability with hue and saturation controls, as well as trick modes for flashing and other effects like TV and fireworks. Small Rig also sent the Simor branded Wave L3 lapel mic. It has a lightning connector, but it's also available with a 3.5 mm. A clip and windsock are included, and the cable is 2 meters long, which is just long enough to get it out of my shirt and over to the phone while vlogging. A lapel mic is useful because it gets the mic closer to me for a clear recording that reduces ambient sounds. And even though Filmic Pro will let me disable the auto gain, 
and set levels manually, which is better than the native app, I'll continue to record audio externally. Uh, for this purpose, a Zoom F2 with its onboard 32-bit float recorder would be my preference. The final item in Small Rig's kit is this flexi-leg tripod. The ball head rotates for either landscape or portrait shooting, and there's a cold shoe for lights. Meh, not my kind of thing. Uh, and I also purchased the DJI OM5 smartphone stabilizer. It's light at 332 grams and small. There's a tripod socket on the bottom and an included tripod foot to set it down. The internal battery is charged using the provided USB cable. Attach the clamp to your phone and the clamp connects magnetically. Now, for balance, you have to consider the gimbal's need for the clamp to be centered and your need to access the keys on the phone. Uh, press the power key to turn it on, which aligns the camera in portrait mode. For landscape, double press the rotate key. There's a free DJI app to manage the device. The app records video and also has some stills features. Resolution and frame rate can be set, white balance can be selected, and in manual mode you can set the shutter, ISO, and adjust exposure value. The EV display provides an exposure meter. An auto calibrate control optimizes the balance. Of course, lots of controls for the gimbal and its follow modes. Let me know if you'd like a video devoted to the OM5's controls and settings. Now, you're not limited to the DJI app to record video. Other video apps from Filmic Pro to Switcher Studio also work. The joystick pans and tilts the camera. There's a key to start and stop recording. A key switches between video and photo modes. And for stabilization, I'm very happy with the results. Even under challenging circumstances, walking backwards, or running along a snowy trail. I've been shooting with it for a few weeks and really find this the most useful video accessory. Oh, one more thing. This totally crazy but very fashionable case. Great conversation starter. This should convince your friends that you are serious about photography. I said earlier that I'm not sponsored, but that's not entirely correct. I'm sponsored by you, my viewers, who are members, and enable me to create videos without sponsorships or YouTube's ad interruptions. Thank you very much. Subscribing remains free, and I continue reading and replying to your civil comments and relevant questions. Thanks for watching, and stay safe. Music